Good afternoon world, Randy Savage 50 here. And today I have a video about appendix carry, the pros and cons of it, and why I now choose to appendix carry opposed to the normal way of carrying that people carry inside the waistband. So let's get it started. Just take a look at me now. I got my Pew Pew Life hoodie. Shout out to Kawhi Noir. And um, can't tell if I have a weapon on. It's getting a little chilly out, so I have my hoodie on, which I love this season. But I am carrying two weapons on me right now inside the waistband. One appendix carry and one in the traditional way of carrying. So I am left-handed, and this is my left side. The gun's probably at the, the 4 o'clock position. And then I have one in the appendix, you know, because it's in the appendix area of your body. And it's probably, I'll say 11 o'clock. So here is one, but I'm left-handed, so I have it this way. So here's what I have. I just kind of put both of these on to demonstrate. I don't carry both of them, or do I? But here is the appendix gun. It's an MMP shield. Both guns have been cleared. Um, it's an MMP shield, and I keep a spare magazine here in my little pocket. I swear they make these little pockets for magazines. I bet they do. <laughs> and this one is my Glock 19 with the spare magazine. This is usually the way that I... I carry the gun. If I have the shield, I'll carry it like this. If I carry my Glock, I'll carry it like this. So let me go down the, the pros and cons of why I think appendix carry is the better carry uh, carrying method for me. So first off, um, I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the the normal way of carry, the way I carry my Glock. Let me let me go that way first and then get to the positive of why I like the, the appendix way better. So starting out with the normal way of carry. So my Glock here, um, the pros, the positioning of it is a lot more comfortable while you're, when you're sitting. So if you sit down with it, you can't even feel it. it's not it's not affecting your waist. So sitting down won't kind of press on any nerves or press on any parts of your body to make you feel uncomfortable. Um, if you're trying to bend over and pick something up, it feels a lot better because all of this is going backwards and not into your thigh or into any of your bones or muscles. Um, while you're reaching up, you see, if you're trying to pick up your kid and throw your kid in the air or trying to reach something on the top shelf, it's a little more inconspicuous right here opposed to something on the front. So you can clearly see this a little more than your weapon on the side. But that's just something to be cognizant of if you're going to carry a weapon either way. Um, so that's a pro to it in my mind. You reach up, you can't, it's not really reaching and pulling and showing this, this clip. <clears throat> Cons, printing. I know I have a hoodie on, but if you have a t-shirt on and you're walking around with any kind of weapon on your side like this and you're doing any kind of moving and, and just any kind of manipulation of your body, let me try to lower this a little bit, you're going to have a lot of printing with that weapon. And um, that's a con to me. It's a dead giveaway when you have a weapon on you because you can, you'll be printed depending on your clothes. So I kind of recommend it going a size up in your shirts or something if you know you're going to walk around with the weapon. Um, another con with the, the, the normal way of carrying is going to be a lot more difficult to draw your weapon from a seated position, especially for you right-handed folks where the you know you put the seatbelt on to your right side and you click it. How are you going to draw your weapon if it's on the right side of your body, right? So it's a little more difficult in that way. Um, when reaching down to pick something up, picking up your little kid, I've had it many times where it'll pop up like that. You have to worry about that happening. Um, it's more inconspicuous um, when drawing opposed to the reaching in the front of you. So that should be up. That should be a pro to me. But let's say you're in line somewhere, right? You're trying to buy some uh, in a gas station. Somebody comes in to rob the place, and you're in line. It's a little more difficult, well not difficult, but it's a little more obvious doing that opposed to just slyly reaching back like this as if you're going for a wallet like a normal person in line, no one's really paying attention to you. But if you're doing this and you're nervous and you're tripping enough and not grabbing it and you're doing, now the target's on you. So it's kind of, you're just sitting there, you slyly reach like that and now you have one available. So, uh, I don't know, you could practice either way and you can make it a pro or a con. I know it depends on whatever whatever you think. So now let's get to the one that I love now, that I fall in love with. I used to hate it because of these 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 couple of reasons that are cons in my mind. And that's so that it, it it hurts. Like I'm not a big big guy as in fat or anything. I'm taking this off. 
But when I try to bend over or sit down or something, this thing just presses down into my thigh like horribly. And I just hate the pain, right? So that was one of the big problems, the pain of sitting down. And I was scared that, okay, it's going to go off and going to shoot my, my man goods off. And I don't want that. But obviously, as you progress, you learn that, okay, it's not going to just go off. But I'm always nervous that, you know, if I'm moving too fast or something and I'm pulling a weapon, what if I accidentally have a negligent discharge, right? Right here, I don't need a, a butt cheek as much as I need the other, other items, right? So that was one of the things, not on my list, but it's one of the things that was my worry before I started to actually appendix carry. Um, how I demonstrated earlier, when you try to stand up and reach or pick up your child and throw them in the air, all of this is gonna be sewing, but eh, that's one of the things you can practice and just work around. Um, some of the pros, the location. Like I, like I was trying to demonstrate in a situation, you're pushing your car, your weapon's right here. It's not way back here. You don't have to worry about it printing. You don't have to worry about anybody seeing it. Um, you don't have to do the whole tuck, touching it, trying to make sure it's there. You know it's there. It's here in the front. You can pull the cart to you close, press it up against you. That weapon is there, and it's, it's very easily able to be drawn from this location and everything. Um, speaking of drawing, while you're sitting in your vehicle, if you decide to keep your weapon within your waistband, um, it's very much... It's very easy to get it out opposed to if you carry it the, in the um, more traditional way of carrying it. So if I'm sitting right here with my seat belt on right here, what I do sometimes is tuck my shirt in and um, have the seat belt behind it. So I know if I need to get my weapon, I can get to it or I can put the seat belt under here or just make sure it doesn't slide up where it's going to um, uh, get in the way of my draw. So it's a lot easier pulling it out like this if you're trying to actually have it within your waistband when you get in the car. What I like to do is take it out of my waistband and put it in my center console. Well, like right here under the radio so you can just reach and grab it. But if you want to keep it on your person, it's a little bit easier to get to if it's like this opposed to back here. So definitely doesn't print as much. Now, obviously this depends on what gun you're going to carry. Like I say, I carry an MMP shield or my Glock 19. I've carried this appendix. It works, but this size is perfect and it's not as bad with with printing as well. So I love it in this area, definitely for printing. Uh, the printing doesn't, it's, it's not as, as big, hold on, let me, let me rephrase this. The print is not as worrisome here as it is here. Um, easier to draw, I already said that, cons, I already said the cons, right? So these are the main points and this is why now appendix carry, I need a holster for this, a pouch for this magazine, but I, I like this pocket, uh, I just put it here. And this is the new way I go. My penis carry probably 95% of the time now, even though I still am in love. But this way, I was just trying different things and practicing. Practice, practice, practice. Dry fire, practice your draw. Practice your draw. Practice your draw and so on so you can get better and better and better at what you're doing. Randy Savage, 5-0 checking out here. Y'all have a beautiful day.